All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here with another exercise index video. And today I wanna to talk about supported chest rows. So there's quite a variety of different kinds of machines like this in the gyms. This just happens to be the one we're on today. This is an Arsa one. So I wanna talk about how to use these machines effectively. They're very versatile. Depending, you can hit all different areas of your back depending on how you draw your elbows back, how you grip the, how you grip the machine. So let's start with um, a pronated grip, all right? So this right here is a pronated grip. So your hands are like this. If you wanna focus on rhomboids, rear delts, lower traps, this is the grip you wanna use. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to draw your elbow straight back, okay? So here's the grip and your elbow is gonna draw straight up like this, okay? See that angle? This machine is really hard too. Now, it's important that you have the foot plate set right. So, if I were to set this up, like watch this. I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna move it all the way up there. Now, now look at where my chest is. Now look at where the bar is pulling. See how low it is? Now instead of pulling up here, I'm pulling down there. And again, if your focus is on your upper back, that's not good, that's not what you want. So you gotta have the foot plate in, in the right spot. You gotta have the right grip. Now, let's say you wanna work more lats. You know, down in this, kind of that area right there. Now we're gonna change our grip to more of a neutral grip. And now, instead of drawing this way, we're gonna draw our elbows closer to our bodies and up, okay? So that is gonna look more like this. So now my arms are in here and I'm pulling this way. Now, this machine is very unique. So as you can see, the attachments are set out wide. If you're lucky enough to have a machine like this, you would actually you would actually want to bring these in. And the reason why is now I'm in, I'm in tighter. I can get a little bit more lat. Whereas when I was out there, I've still got a little bit of a wide angle. So now the bar, the grip's in closer. I can just draw my elbows straight up. See that? That's all lat right there. And again, the same thing applies to the foot plate. Now, if I drop the foot plate too low, it's going to turn into almost like a, like a hunched kind of row. So now you want the foot plate up a little bit because you're not pulling this way. Now you're pulling this way. So general rule is if your lats, the foot plate's going to be up a little bit. The grip is going to be neutral. If you're doing more upper back, rhomboid, lower trap, rear delts, the foot plate's gonna be a little lower, you're pulling up a little higher, and you're drawing with your elbows out as opposed to in. So that's kind of the essence of how to make a supported row work. Um, that's it, short video today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks. Ah, one more thing. Reps, sets, and when do you put them in? Okay, you can use a variety of um, rep schemes on this. I don't typically like to do these with real high reps though. I tend to favor more of six to eight, nine reps. I feel like when you get to 12, 15, 20 reps, your arms start taking over a little bit too much. 
your arms start fatiguing. Even if you're a master at mind-muscle connection, your arms will inevitably just start fatiguing at those higher reps. Now, in terms of where you put this in the workout, you can put it first, and this can be your heavy base movement that you try to get strong on every week. You could also put it at the end of your workout because look at the stretch this gives you. These machines are nice because I'm in a stretch position. And you know how I train, I like to stretch the muscle once it's pumped as well. So you can use this with an extreme stretch. You could even, when you get to the bottom, you could even have somebody push down a little bit, which we do on occasion, to create a crazy stretch. This is also a perfect exercise to put into like the three spot when we usually do like a drop set. It's a machine, it's easy on your lower back, as opposed to doing a drop set with like a barbell row, which could, you know, it's a little bit higher risk, it's certainly a lot higher risk. So you could put this first or second as a base exercise. You could put it third. You could add in a drop set at the end or some kind of uh, high intensity technique like a cluster set, or you can put it last because of the good stretch and range of motion you can get. So you can literally put this exercise anywhere in your routine that's gonna be effective. So now I'm done. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, I know you're gonna love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.